Hi Multi-Rotor fans, John here and today we're going to look at a very nice machine that has evolved over the last few years and this is a this is a very very impressive machine here it is if you don't know what this is this is the case that you get with the new Phantom 4 Pro Plus. And let's take a look. This is a nice case. Um, at first glance, when you take it out of the box, you think that it's, it's just the packing um, for the drone, which obviously it is, but this is actually a very nice case. It's fairly thick. It's a good quality foam. Nice strong handle. It has a, has a lockable latch. And here we go. So let's open it up. Has a hinge on the back to uh, it's got a lock. Has a hinge on the back to hinge it open. And there it contains the Phantom 4 Pro Plus. The Plus version of the Pro has a monitor. And take this out carefully. This monitor is built in. No wires. No wires running around. It's it's all built in. Of course the transmitter may look familiar to um, a lot of you that, that are familiar with the DJI products. This is their more common high-end uh, transmitter that they use with the, some of their upper level models as well and of course the machine itself and battery so the pro version of the Phantom 4 what the major difference here is um, actually the camera the camera is actually uh, completely redesigned. It now uses a Sony one inch sensor and um, it can record at a pretty incredible 4K 60 frames per second, which is, which is um, quite a challenge at this point in time. You don't see um, anything except almost professional equipment recording at 4K 60 frames per second. It is also a very high bit rate, uh, meaning that it, it uh, puts a lot of data onto your memory card um, very quickly. Um, the higher the bit rate, the more image detail you get out of your pictures or your video. And the gimbal is completely redesigned. It uses a slightly different battery in this Pro version and it is um, the software that that's in this machine is is actually quite incredible I can't get into it in length right now you can find that on their website or possibly in, in some other videos but um, this machine has um, very advanced software built in it has sensors almost everywhere front sensors it has side sensors it has rear sensors and it has bottom sensors. Um, quite amazing and obviously um, you can be in the mode where the sensors are active and it will help you from hitting an obstacle. Could be a tree, uh, wall house, building, um, which is which is pretty extraordinary and and it does work very very well I tend to fly most of the time um, not in in obstacle avoidance mode I typically fly in, in fairly open areas but uh, if I find myself in in some areas where maybe there are trees or or you know some other structures around I will definitely fly in obstacle avoidance mode um, so this has everything that all of the older systems had. Um, you can you can predefine your flight path. 
and fly it automatically. Um, you can change parameters on, on just about anything. And it's all done via the built-in monitor. And another thing I like about this monitor is it's extraordinarily bright out in sunlight. I've not seen any cell phone that we put on our transmitters that is as bright as this monitor is. And, of course, inside it'll, it'll just look bright. But um, the brightness level is, is actually quite incredible on this outside. You can see this. You can actually see it in bright sunlight, which is um, something that has been you know, difficult for when we put our cell phones on as a monitor or, or for using other types of monitors. They just don't have the brightness level that, that this monitor has. That, that's a major um, advantage to this system. And this is the Plus version over the Pro. The Plus version includes this built-in monitor on their, on their nice transmitter. And of course you do, get, you do get HDMI out if you want to output to a television or another monitor. Um, whatever, you may, whatever you may be doing, you, you can do that as well. And the uh, stability of this is quite incredible. Um, I just put a video up. Um, we we went out to see a. Uh, um, my son likes uh, trains, and and we saw a uh, a train that was that was kind of a rare engine. Um, the winds were gusting up to 35 miles per hour. We were out in the open, and initially when I took off from the road, um, just the moment that this hopped into the air. I, I saw it tilt a little bit and I was afraid it was going to go over, but it immediately corrected itself. And from that point on, even though the winds were extraordinarily gusty, this was rock solid. It, it quite amazed me. So not only do you have the stability of the craft, but you've also got the stability of the gimbal. So the video footage was obviously amazingly smooth and there was no notice of strong gusty winds whatsoever. This handled them very, very well. One thing I noted was on my monitor, it actually told me, once I got a few feet in the air, it told me the winds were quite strong. It was a message in red. It said the winds were quite strong and to fly with caution, which I did fly with caution. But that was that was interesting that, that uh, the machine was able to detect the strong wind condition and give me a warning about that. So that, that's another um, advanced feature of the software. Again, the software is, is so... Uh, it, it's easy to, to navigate, but it gives you an incredible amount of information. Um, this machine um, currently has no... There, there, there's no comparable machine to this. No one makes a machine comparable to this. Um, and it could be some time before someone does. With, with all of the sensors, and especially with, with this new camera. This camera is amazing. A 1-inch Sony sensor, 4K, 60 frames per second. That is absolutely amazing. You also have a choice of what we call color profiles. And, and some of you know what I mean, and, and some don't. Color profiles allow you to predefine how the camera will will capture colors in, in your image. And you can customize a color profile or you can just go with with normal um, or none, which just means it's going to record the way it's it's been predefined to record, which is fine because the, the color profile in in none is, is actually quite uh, quite normal. Um, but you can you can change that and you can customize that. Um, it's actually amazing. It's, it's amazing how far this little machine has come in the, in the last few years that uh, it's actually progressed to this level. Um, the batteries, again, these are a little bit different than the Phantom 4. Um, flight time is, is supposed to be 20 to 25 minutes. Um, I've not flown that long on a single battery. I do have two batteries. Um, but Judging from the size of the battery and, and, and what I've 
noticed in my flying, I, I believe that if you were careful, you could probably fly 25 minutes, which is a long time, depending on what you're doing. But um, these are a little bit at the, at the top of the price range, I would say, for this class of machine. Um, again, even for that price, you can't, you can't touch um, the camera that, that's mounted on this gimbal. A 4K, 1-inch sensor, Sony sensor, uh, 60 frames per second. Um, there, there's nothing else that can come close to that. There's another, there's another GoPro-like camera um, that'll be coming out on the market soon. That it'll do 4K, 60 frames per second, but it does not use this giant one-inch Sony sensor. Um, it doesn't offer you the uh, the bit rate. Uh, which again is the ability of, of the system to absorb all of that color and picture detail information and, and put that you know into a file. So so even when that other little GoPro lookalike comes out, um, it still will not compare to this camera uh, alone. So this is a this is a super nice system. I've I've been very happy. Um, to fly this uh, recently. It's been cold outside, but I've tried to take every opportunity to fly. I like the the quick and easy um, propeller removal. This is something that, that has been troubling in the past, and these are actually quite fast. You don't even really have to... You, you match up a color with a you know black, white goes here, but you don't even have to to know which way it goes. You can just turn it both ways and one way it'll lock, one way it will not lock, and then just spin it and it comes right off. That's, that's something that has bothered me uh, a lot in the past where I've actually just permanently bolted my propellers down uh, because I didn't want them to come loose. This is not the case any longer. It's very fast and it allows you to package this into a small container um, for travel. You don't have to have this very large case with your props bolted on, um, which is, is a little inconvenient depending on, on what you're doing, but this is actually a very small, I consider this a very small case to hold the whole system in, and this will allow me to carry, I've got a lot of extra props in here, and I can carry three batteries, a total of three batteries, which is not bad, but if I did a little modification to a compartment here and scooted the propellers over a little bit, I could carry four batteries in this case. That's not bad. That is not bad for a pretty darn compact case. So again, if you're um, you know, interested in, in looking up the details, go to the website. Um, check out some other videos, but um, I just wanted to show you guys what this looked like and how impressive um, this machine is. Um, it is on a level far above anything else that's out there. Um, it is very advanced. That I, I feel like they've done a very, very good job. Um, so if anybody's kind of thinking about this, I, I, I definitely recommend this. I've always recommended DJI products. They've had some issues in the past, um, but they're trying really hard, and uh, they are putting out some some very advanced uh, systems that, that are, are doing very, very well. So thank you for watching, and uh, um, share my channel with your friends. Um, subscribe. And uh, when you fly, use common sense. Have a good time. That's what this is all about. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.